Hello, hello everybody. Welcome. Hello and welcome to Talking Animal Sense. I am Karen Palmer. I am your mindful media mom and the queen of global kindness. And I am going to be teaching you today about telepathic receiving and the emotions of the animals. So I am an angelic and an animal communicator. So I am helping to bring this. Did that stop live streaming? Let me just see if I'm still live streaming here. Type into the chat if you still see me. I think I lost my internet connection here. Okay, let's try this again. Oh, maybe it is. It says it's still streaming. Hi, guys. <laughs> Welcome. So welcome. Hi, Jennifer. Thanks for being here. So I invite you guys to share this out. As I said, I am an animal communicator and an angel communicator. And we're going to be talking about the emotions and how to have that beautiful connection with your pets. So thank you, Jennifer, for being here. I'll let people know that we're here live. Please invite your followers and please enjoy this beautiful music video that I um, created to help raise awareness for animals. Again, I'm Karen Palmer. I'm your host of Talking Animal Sense, and this is Spirituality Gone Wild. And if you're new to Spirituality Gone Wild, please like the page so that you will get notifications when we are live. So thank you for being here. I'm going to share this beautiful, beautiful music video that I did for the animals. Hi, I'm Karen Palmer, and I'm a conscious dog trainer. I volunteer at animal. I got to do the screen share here first. Hi, welcome. Please let me know where you're watching from. And please share this out. Please hit the share button. I'm going to share this video with you. So share screen. Animal shelters to help dogs find forever homes. Each year, millions of healthy dogs and cats are killed for the simple reason that they have no home. There are many animal rescues that need our help. They're changing lives, but they need your support. I created this YouTube channel to help create a no-kill nation for shelter animals. I hope you can search your heart and give what you can. If we all give a little, we can accomplish so much. I'm also a best-selling author and a game designer. My games and books are on PositivelyPetsAndKids.com. If you visit that website and you purchase a book or a game, I will be donating proceeds from the sales of any purchases to go to Animal Rescue. You can follow us on Twitter at Positively123. That's spelled P-A-W-S-I-T-I-V-E-L-Y-123. And join us on Facebook for the Puppy Love Revolution. We're looking forward to doing this together. Hold on to me as we go. As we roll down this unfamiliar road. Now go this way. Oh, 
you can always be found. Just know you're not alone. Cause I'm gonna make this place your something that you could enjoy for yourself there. Did you guys hear all that? Can you type into the chat that you can hear me okay? <laughs> Cuz I had the mute button on. I guess that 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 didn't that didn't work right. I'm not sure why that didn't work. Were you guys able to hear all of that? Can you type into the chat for me if you could hear all that so I can continue the class? Uh, just type into the chat that you can hear okay. Hello, Michelle, can you type into the chat that you can hear me okay? Welcome. Jennifer, you've been here the whole time. Can you tell me you can hear it? You can hear everything okay? Yes, could you hear me the whole time, Jennifer? Because I, I have my mute button on. <laughs> Did you hear that video? Yes, awesome, yay, thank you, Jennifer. Thank you so much. It's fun because we don't know, like we're doing this on the live stream. So I wanna talk to you about um, the benefits here of really connecting and understanding how to utilize your telepathic gifts. So we all have telepathic gifts. We all have telepathic gifts. And to be able to communicate with the animals is a beautiful, beautiful experience. So I want to share a little bit about that with you so that you can have more of a awareness around what it is exactly to have that telepathic connection. Okay, so 
Until one has loved an animal, a part of one's soul remains unawakened. Cosmos and mana, this is the most powerful way that we are having unconditional love. No matter what they are, always there, they put a smile on your face. And so animals are teaching us all about unconditional love. So a valuable lesson for all of us to learn from our four-legged friends is that animals and humans share a deep connection incomparable to any other relationship one might have. In fact, dogs were the first species to be domesticated by humans at least 32,000 years ago. They have this uncanny knack of sensing your vibe, whether you are excited or sad or depressed or angry. They can read your thoughts and your mind. So think about that, okay? How do we know if we're getting a message that is telling a message to the, the people in, in your life. So I'm going to share this screen for you. And this is um, helping to see how we are receiving messages all the time. And if you just stay open, you will really know that you are receiving messages from your animals. So this is um, a scientific proven fact I'm going to share this with you. Pam Smart ist eine Hundebesitzerin, die die Experimente von Rupert Sheldrake seit nunmehr zwei Jahren durchführt. Zusammen mit ihren Eltern versucht sie herauszufinden, ob ihr Hund JT tatsächlich immer weiß, wann sie nach Hause kommt. JT, good boy. So her parents at whose house the dog stays when she's away were taken care. At first, Pam was skeptical. Only her experiments with JT convinced her. She says, we tried to fool him for two weeks. I did not tell my parents where I was going or when I would be back. I returned by taxi, by bike, in my friend's car and walked. It was a time of intense. Every morning she, she telephoned and decided the experiment for the day. This is test for seeing. Now we really want to know and put it to rest that the experiment is working. One camera is set up in the living room for Pam's parents where JT stays. Hello, Ruth. In order to compare what both our dogs are doing, they have systems in place. The second cameraman accompanies Pam. The experiment begins at 11 a.m. This is JT. Will JT also react under these conditions and wait for Pam by the window? This is an experiment proving that the dogs do know. We accompanied Pam on a nearby town. Only we knew the time she would return. Even the cameraman who stayed behind the house doesn't know when she will be back. Hi, Debbie Garcia. Thanks for being here. In the meantime, at home, Pam's parents, JT, continues to lie at the feet of Pam's mom. But do you see JT is getting a message? It's almost 1 p.m. Half the time planned for the experiment is already over. But we are the only ones who know this. As already mentioned, the time to return 
Neither Pam nor her parents at home know when we will be back. Whether the experiment will succeed is still open. Nobody can predict whether JT will react as usual under test conditions or whether the camera and lights will scare him. Now things get serious. It's 10 to three and the editor gives the signal for immediate departure. The camera shows the current time. Now look at JT, look at JT right there. Look at him. Of course they know. Yes, of course they know. 11 seconds after our distant departure, the experiment was successful. In order to make it more difficult for the dog, they decided beforehand to return by taxi. So Pam, the sound of her car was not happening. She came home by a taxi. This is an experiment that's being done for telepathic messages between the person, the companion and the pet. It doesn't matter whether Pam thinks of him or not, just as the experiments she performed, JT cannot be fooled. When the taxi arrives, he sits at the window full of expectation. We admit the results of the experiment amazed them. We cannot offer you any explanation, but neither do we claim to have performed a scientific experiment. We can only show you what we have seen with our own eyes. Pretty awesome, huh, you guys? It's pretty awesome. When, when we have all of these beautiful ways that we can connect, and this is another way, another one that I wanted to show you. Um, this beautiful, beautiful video that I just saw here, it's called Animal Kind. So this is what I'm trying to say to you guys. This is what the animals are teaching us. They're teaching us that we are a global family. They're teaching us that they do have emotions, that they do connect with you telepathically, that they do know everything that you are sending out as a message. They hear you, they receive you, they are so connected to you. So I want to talk to you about these beautiful ways that you can see how you have this deep 
spiritual relationship with your pets. Now, your animals that are in your life are very, very powerful spiritual teachers. So if your animals that are in your life are helping you to remember that you are pure love and pure joy, then you are in the vibration of being your true self. Now, if you are in the vibration of your conditioned self, that you are fearful or critical or disconnected or feeling separate, your dog is going to, your cat, your dog, your animals, the animals are going to know that you are not connected to your true self. So do you see how powerful they are as spiritual teachers? So this is what I want to talk to you about is how do you know um, emotionally what's going on with your pets? So that's where we're going to be talking about my book here that I, I am teaching you from is The Secret to Puppy Love. And you can get my book at globalkindnesstv.org forward slash puppy love. And we're going to talk about the role of emotions. So know that the same spark of life within you is within all of our animal friends. The desire to live is within all of us. We are all connected. God weaves a beautiful tapestry and the thread that brings us together is the animals. The role of emotion, another extremely important part of working with these principles is to understand how your mood affects your ability to manifest the results that you desire. So if the results that you desire are to have a happy, well-balanced, amazing relationship with your pets, with the animals, and with the people in your life, then these are going to be principles that you can bring into your day-to-day -day life. So your mood is the best indicator of your emotions. Everyone feels emotions in various bodily sensations. Your emotions can affect the way that you make decisions. There are six basic types of emotion. So I'd love for you to type these into the chat for me, okay? The first one is love. The second one is surprise. The third one is happiness. The fourth one is fear. The fifth one is sadness. And the sixth one is anger. So type those into the chat for me. Love, surprise, happiness, fear, sadness, and anger are the six basic emotions that your animal is reading from you. I love this picture. This is little Brandy. Brandy was such an amazing dog. She was a rescue who was left on the streets. She was pregnant. She lost all of her babies and she was rescued by a wonderful rescue that took her in and took care of her. Thank you so much for typing those in. Took her in, took care of her, helped her to um, feel confident around people again. And when my friends adopted Brandy, this is little Brandy, Brandy had major, major anxiety. Of course, right? Who wouldn't have anxiety if they were left in the streets, had their babies, and had their babies not survive, right? That, that people were harsh and mean to her. And it was hard for her to trust humans again. And this is why it's so important that we start to understand that even how, no matter how much 
these animals have been abused. They are pure forgiveness because they are pure love, because they are, you know, teaching us about pure love. No matter what their experiences are, they're teaching us about pure love. And, and this is why it's so important for us to pay attention. Hi, Jason Watts. Welcome. So this is why it's so important that we pay attention to the emotions and the telepathic messages that we're sending to our animals. You know, we are one. We are one with all animals. We are one with all nature. We are one with all the trees, with all the air, with all the sky. We are one with this whole universe, right? Uni means one, song means verse. We are the universe. These animals need us to be the voice for them. It's so important. So you must learn to identify the state of mind that is best suited for making decisions. Learning to understand your emotions can help you in all areas of your life. I hope you are starting to realize and beginning to see how helping your dog or your helping your dog step into its greatness is also helping you step back into your greatness. We are all connected and the animals in our life are there for specific growth lessons. If you can learn to express your emotions in a calm and peaceful way, life will be much easier for your relationship with your dog will be fulfilling that experience. Haha, <laughs> my fur babies are surrounding me right now. Beautiful, Michelle. Yes, I like I said, I am an angelic messenger. So when I'm speaking, the energy that's coming through me is a transmission. So the energy that comes through me is pure truth. When I speak for the animals, I'm speaking from a place of complete connection. I'm speaking from my greatness, from my magnificence, because if I don't speak from my magnificence, if I don't speak from my greatness, their message doesn't get received. And this is why I am a voice for the voiceless animals. And this is why I'm so passionate about teaching you how to have a more connected a more expressive and more beautiful relationship with the animals in your life, because this will spill over into all of your relationships. It's so much easier to have a relationship with an animal because animals are unconditional. They love you no matter what. They love you no matter what treatment you give them. This has been proven to me over and over again. I work with animals that have been so severely abused that you would be shocked if you saw them as skinny as a rail, left tied to a tree with no food and no water and nobody taking care of that animal. And finally, a neighbor calling our rescue and saying, so there's a dog here and nobody's taking care of this dog. Can you come and take care of this dog? If this is a big message to our society. Do you see what I'm saying? This is a big message for our society. The animals are teaching us. If we treat the animals and we treat nature and we are unbalanced in the way that we communicate with our animals, then we are adding to the problems of the world. So when we learn how to communicate and we learn how to telepathically, spiritually, and so emotionally and mentally connect with our pets, 
we are starting to be part of the solution. Okay. Expecting to receive what you desire is vital in getting it. A heightened sense of expectation intensifies the vibration of thought. So when you dare to expect what you desire, it's on its way. Allowing yourself to feel a sense of expectation reinforces the attraction or the pull of it for you. So here's a wonderful visualization that you can do that is to focus on the four basic techniques for manifesting what it is you desire to have as a relationship. Thank you, Debbie. So what, what it is that you desire to have as a relationship with your pets. So first and foremost, let's, let's do our, get into our beautiful space where we are in the unified field, where we are all one with all the animals on the planet, with all of nature. You see, when you quiet the chatter in your mind and you tune in to your sensory perceptions, you tune into your physical body and you start to quiet all the busyness that's going on in your head and you bring your attention down into your heart space and you connect. And what you can do with your animal especially is this beautiful mantra, which is aham prema. Aham prema means I am love. Twa'am prema means you are love. And va'am prema means we are love. And va'am gita means we are one song. So when we sing this mantra to an, an, an animal that we have a connection with, they are connecting with the sound vibration. It's a sound healing. It's a sound vibration. Try it with your animals. Try it with your cat, with your dog. Try it with your bunny. Try it with your children. Try this. Give it a shot. See what happens when you are being your true self. You will start to see these emotions turning into happiness and joy and being your true self. And then your animals will react and will respond to you being your true self. Okay? So sit up nice and tall and bring your hands into your heart and just bring your hands into a prayer position and dropping the hands up into the breastbone. Sit up nice and tall and just quiet all the chatter. There is no other time than this. There is no place that you need to be that's more important than this place. You are in the eternal now. So stay here with me and allow yourself to connect with the beautiful, beautiful <sighs> unified field where we are all one and close your eyes and press your thumb into your breastbone so that you are secreting the pineal gland and opening up the third eye which is right here your third eye is your mind's eye and visualize the type of relationship that you would love to see all animals receiving and hold that vision. And as you're sending that vibration out, let's send it out to nature. Let's send that energy of love and light out to nature, out to all the beautiful, beautiful world that we are 
one with. Okay. Ahom Prema, I am only love. Twa Ahom Prema, you are only love. Va Ahom Prema, we are only love. Va Om Gita, we are all one song. And as we go through our day, we take the time to say, Aham Prema, Twa Om Prema. Va Om Prema, Va Om Gita. We are one song. We are all one song. We are one song. So let's get along. We are one song. So let's be this song. We are one song. Feel that vibration. As we know, we are one song. We are, your cat just wants to be held. That's beautiful. So when your cat wants to be held, that is your cat asking to connect with your true self so that you are taking the time to be mindful and present and what your cat is asking you to do is connect into that unified field. That's why it feels so good when we pet our pets, when we pet our dog or our cat or a bunny, or even listen to the birds. It lowers our cortisol. It lowers our blood pressure. It lowers the chance of us having a heart attack. Do you know that we increase the chance of us having a heart attack by becoming angry and yelling at our children or our pets or our spouse? That we increase the chance of having a heart attack by 8% by being angry? That tightens up all the blood vessels. It tightens up all the blood vessels. But when we pet and we meditate and we, we connect with our pet and we're petting our pet, we're actually raising the levels of oxytocin, which is that happiness hormone, which is that gratitude hormone. And so when you take the time, make this a commitment to you and to your pet to connect with your pet. Make this a commitment that's going to benefit both of you, okay? Type that in the chat. Yes, I make that commitment. Yes, I choose to be more present with my pet. I choose to be more present with my pet. Type that into the chat. Yes, I choose to be more present with my pet. I want to share a beautiful. Hi, Angela. Welcome. So I want to share a beautiful message. Um, yes, I will be more present with my pet. And my children and my spouse and my life. I will be more present so I can enjoy it more. Type that into the chat for me. I choose to be more present. I want to see everyone typing that in the chat. I choose to be more present. I choose to be more present, whether you're watching this live or on the replay. I choose to be more pleasant and more present. 
I choose. You choose how you are reacting to the present moment. You have three ways. I choose to make the commitment. I choose to be more present with my pets. Yes. Awesome. Thank you, Michelle. So we have three ways that we actually experience the present moment. Okay. So the first way that we experience the present moment is we make it into an enemy. We make it into a problem. We don't accept what's happening in the present moment. We're too busy and distracted. So we get to choose whether we live a distracted or a divine life. Thank you, Christine Marie. Yes, I choose to be more pleasant and more present with my pet. Yay, Christine Marie. Thank you for typing that in. I love when I hear that you're listening to me. I love when you type into the chat that you hear me. All we all want, every human on the planet right now, and this emotion, I'm so connected right now to the collective consciousness. This emotion is so powerful that all every living being wants is to be seen and heard and validated. Every single living being wants the experience of being seen and heard and validated, okay? So the earth is our collective body, okay? Type that in the chat. The earth is our collective body. If you are concerned about environmental issues, consider this. Mother Nature is symbolic of the nurturing feminine aspects of ourselves. Disrespect and lack of harmony with nature are only possible in a society of individuals who disrespect and disregard their own intuitive nature. If you are in tune and attuned to your inner guidance, there is no way that you become severely out of balance with your natural environment. In a sense, earth is our collective body. The way we treat earth mirrors the way we treat our own body. Thank you, Michelle. Thank you for typing that into the chat for me. The lack of respect and attunement to our bodies is demonstrated on a global level by the way we treat the body of our planet. As we learn to trust and love our bodies and listen to the signals and give our bodies healthy, very healthy, organic food and nurturing by giving sleep and not polluting with drugs or unwholesome food or alcohol. And we stop trying to control our body with artificial rules and ideas then we will believe that we are able to treat our earth body with the same care and respect. That's the truth, you guys. That's the absolute truth. Our earth, our children, our animals are screaming out loud to us. Be kind, be respectful, be gentle. This is so important. Be present. So we make the present moment into a problem and we turn it into, I got to get through this. I just got to get over it. I just got to do it. I just got to make it happen. And so what we're doing is we're actually creating more separation. 
with our pets. And the third way is to make this present moment our friend. To make it a friend. To be grateful for the present moment. To be grateful for our pets. To be grateful for the people and the animals. Be grateful for the trees. For the ocean. This is how we start to heal as a collective, as the collective body of earth. We are one song. Just like I said in the song, we are one song. So let's get along. Let's realize we are the global family and we are what we've been looking for. Okay? All right. So the next, like I said, the lesson here is the four basic ways for you to have a peaceful greeting with your guests. So we're getting ready for the holidays and you may have um, a, a, a dog that is overly excited when company comes. So these are four wonderful ways that you can manifest the results that you are wanting to have with a peaceful greeting to your guests, okay? Most important, number one, focus on all the abundance and blessings in your life. Focus on the qualities that you love about your dog. And where focus goes, energy flows. You will see your dog exhibiting the qualities that you focus on the most. Use emotionally charged positive thinking like we did last week. We send telepathically, we send the message and we get a vision of what it is that we desire, what it is that we want to see with our pets. So. Use emotionally charged positive thinking and spend a few moments each day just thinking about the behavior that you would enjoy experiencing with your dog, okay? So if you would love to see your dog sit and stay on a blanket when you have company coming, then Start visualizing and putting a blanket and giving clear direction to your pet, giving that clear direction, okay? Number two, set your intention in writing and put it in a place where you can see it often. Be very specific and make it very clear in your statement. What do you want? An example is, I'm training my dog to be calm and welcome my guest peacefully in my home. Notice that I did not focus on what I do not want. For example, I didn't say, I don't want my dog to bark or jump on people. Because when you focus on what you don't want, you're going to get more of what you don't want. For example, no barking, no jumping, no rude behavior. Now, take a few moments to think about the emotions you will feel when your dog accomplishes these results. Continue to do this daily and you will see the results that you desire. Be ready to receive and feel the emotions that come with getting your desired results. Develop an attitude of gratitude and offer appreciation often to your dog, responding extremely well to kindness. Dogs dogs respond extremely well to kindness and gratitude. Spend about three to five minutes counting all your blessings in your life and begin with your amazing dog and your new spiritual teacher. 
All right. So there's your lesson. Thank you guys for being here. Have a beautiful day and enjoy the beauty of your day and realize that your emotions, your beliefs, your energy is having an amazing effect on the animals in your life, the people in your life, and Mother Nature. So please be very careful and loving and kind and respectful and know that we are all in this together. Okay? Bye, guys.